Welcome to the 2022 Music and Poetry Synchronized, also known as MAPS, concert that's featuring Alcides Figueroa School and the Pioneer Valley Performing Arts Public Charter School, as they've partnered once again, this being the third year, and we're so excited for you to see this fantastic work that both schools have done independently and also within partnership. It's certainly been a better year than a year ago as the PVPA students were able to be in person, and that certainly helps enormously with the creation of uh, songs, the music and songs. And at the same time, the Puerto Rico students also contributed mightily during the fall to uh, the poetry and the art that uh, will ultimately show not only here in this concert, but also in the program book that we give to all the students at the end of the semester. I want to be sure that MAPS thanks profusely Janet Nevis and Ali Tubins, who are now their third year of overseeing the Puerto Rico program. Just fantastic work. And Garrett Sawyer at PVPA stepped in this year has done a tremendous job of bringing the songs along during the Paideia three-week program at PVPA. And we thank all three for their commitment, their hard work, and the students most of all have just done a fantastic job. So we just welcome you, enjoy the show, and thanks so much for coming and watching. Yeah, so um, these guys did an amazing job. We just took some poetry and just passed it out to people and they put it together and made some awesome songs. We've got a big variety. We have, you know, some smooth bossa nova. We have some heavy metal. We have some sort of like club stuff. It's all, it's a big mix. So enjoy. Um, psyched to see you here. And Hello, everyone. My name is Janet Nieves and I'm an English teacher here at the Specialized Bilingual School Arcides Figueroa Minasco. We were the first school in Puerto Rico to participate in the MAPS program and we're very proud of this. These past two years have been both a pleasure and an adventure. Our students have faced many challenges throughout the years. First they had Hurricane Maria, then they had the earthquakes and now the global pandemic. MAPS provides a space for our students to use their experiences and creativity to have their voices heard. I look forward to continuing with the collaboration with MAPS. Thank you. Hi, my name is Alexandra Tuvens. I am one of the teachers at the Alcides Figueroa Bilingual School in Añasco, Puerto Rico. Um, I have been a teacher collaborator for uh, MAPS for the past three years and I have really enjoyed the experience. It has been great watching the creative process of the students, just writing the poems, um, coming up with the artwork, recording themselves, um, reciting the poetry. So I am really super excited for this year's virtual concert, and I can't wait what the students at PVPA have come up with. I am sure um, we will be blown away. Bye. Honey Doves by Naomi Cristina Lalbaya Rivera. Our eyes meet under the warm summer sky. The gentle night breeze blowing my hair. Sweet and toneful melodies ringing through the night. Constellations we miss in our hearts. Hands interlock with promises. Lips interlock with passion. Butterflies and fireflies dancing in my belly. Captured in each other's eyes. Gazes connected from far away. Walls torn inside of our hearts. Two lovers discovering each other. Hearts falling in love. Souls finding their true selves together. Feelings taken out to the light. Synchronized hearts, minds linked and full of love. Our divine love is unbreakable. Starry sights and dreamy nights wait for us. Your smile is my dream come true. Our eyes twinkle and shine when they find each other. I wouldn't want nobody else but you to complete my soul. My soul wants to be engulfed in your loving arms. 
eyelashes flaring slowly, lips tracing the road together. Harmless hands gripping my waist, my arms clutching your neck softly. Faces getting closer and admiring each other. Dreamy gazes getting lost in each other's hearts. Rosy cheeks and shy smiles. Tenderness and affection in each of our touches. Encounters full of flowers and colors. Our hearts beating lovingly for each other. Fingers interlove with love. Coffee brown eyes gazing in each other's reflection. Two lost pair of lips finding their home. Our connection is indestructible.
Goddess by Maria by Guess. Moon, you have scars, and yet you're still mesmerizing. You get hit, 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 yet you're still there, glowing, all alone and no one around. You have nothing to envy. Going through faces to be whole again. All around, they admire you just by insisting. Dearest, how I wish I was like you. Beautifully broken. However, people just see the broken in me, not the beautiful. That sounds beautiful.
Spring love. A swindle in a breeze brings scent to this odorless parched heart. Spring with its enticing sight, colors blooming from the ground itself. Nature sings its new season so bright. I found love at first sight. I spotted a dark silhouette. I could not perceive it as an animal, but I knew it felt different, seeing something looking exactly like you. Sakura, marigolds, tulips and hydrangeas, my colors of love projected on their petals. The dreams of forgotten love delve in the dying leaves of my precious rose. Although you may not stand out in spring, you shall always hold memories blessed. With the moments where he spoke, what I've always so wanted to have heard. Four seasons, four desperately awaited seasons. Spring, my love, bring me towards you. Let me bathe in your iridescent sunlight. Let me play with the buds of young love. Let me search in your nature. Let me search, for I must know where he is. I must know my flower-crowned love. Where did you put my past? I am lost in this forest of pink descending delicates. Please, I must know, for in you spring is where I discovered what true joy was. I found my reason to believe, to trust. I finally understood what a rose's scent meant. I finally understood the memory of the sakura. I understood what it was to have love. Spring, my carrier of passions and romanticisms, tell me, what did you do to my love? Did you bury him in the depths of your roots? Did you drown him in the lake of despair? Spring, did you cast his soul into the rose you gave me? Is that why? Is that why it never withers? Is that why it always gleams a sparkle of elegance? Whenever I catch myself captivated by its beauty, birds sing, frogs croak, plants bloom, but why? Why him? Why did your iridescent light blind me from what you did? Why, cruel year, did you twist him into my heart? Why? Why was his love for me casted in the rose I so preserve? Spring, my forgotten love, you brought me petals, you brought me romance, your delightful wind brought upon me such peace, your beloved skies lured me in. Everything, everything brought me to the thought of him. The silhouette was your soul coming back. It was your last attempt to see me, wasn't it? You knew I dreamed of leaving in spring. I wished to be blessed in spring. Under the tree of my dreams, I wished to hear your last words. I wished for so many things that never happened. The spring breeze no longer brought me in. The sunlight burned at my withering soul. The sounds of nature bewildered my heart. And at the last minute, at the last minute of spring, you decided to show yourself. After so long that my mind forgot what pleasure it was to see you carrying the gifts of love I gave you. But now, you are too late, my rose. I've already lost so many things. I can't bear to live another season with what I've become. Spring, my dear, bury me in the red roses. Twiddle with my soul until I cannot bear it. Bear Break my dreams into ripped petals and end yourself with the first ray of summer heat.
For I won't live to see my rose shine in the next season's light. I will never again feel his strokes of uncertainty near my broken self. <laughs> Take care, both of you. May the mountain tops remind you of how my mind was clouded with you. May the shining river remind you of the tranquil nature that was around us. May the eternal rose wilt along with who I was. Spotted a dark silhouette
Everyone admires her from afar, while she gracefully takes their breath away, wanting to be hidden and unperceived, avoiding being suffocated and overwhelmed by their attention. But her eyes are like stars in a dark night sky. As I look into her eyes, I notice the knowledge I have found. 
I can read her whole story. It's imprinted in her gaze. She glances at the empty chair, his chair. That was when I realized the attention is not what she wanted. It was someone to call her beloved. Her eyes continue to stare at the empty chair as someone rushes in to feel it. Her face lights up with a soft smile as she deeply dreams about his dazzling eyes. For her, his eyes were mysterious yet mesmerizing. She gently waves and says hello. She is oblivious to his true feelings, tormented by her thoughts and insecurities. Do I look pretty enough? Does he think I look good? And what this gentleman wanted was for her to be his beloved.
as beloved Lost in my soul Sometimes life is dark I don't know what to do I walk and walk but I can't find a way People see me, but they don't realize that I'm distressed. They see me happy, but I really am upset. I will continue pretending. When I look in the mirror, my true self is a reality. I want to run away. I want to escape and forget who I am. I just want to relive until this life goes by. It is hard to come back. Only you can give me the solution. Fear is not my door. Doubt didn't let me go. My mind straight me, trying to convince me I can't. Yes, where the pleasures are filling me up. But who will really feel my emptiness? I really want to get out, but this is not easy. I want to look for him, but this is not easy. In terms of crime, I try of pretending to the whole world that I'm okay. I hate when people I care about ask me what's wrong. I have no choice but to tell them nothing is wrong or I'm fine. Because honestly, if I tell them, they won't understand me. It's not only people, it's me as well. Because every time I try getting close to you, and never straightforward forward take, you seem to take two steps away from me. I feel like a photo of your shadow. And when it cuts you up, I stop seeing your steps. What I'm doing wrong? What can others feel you? But I can't. I'm hunting by a thread, and I will soon fall to the heavens. The world's trying to play with my soul, and I'm just trying to find where to go. I don't know what to do. This whole lives seem endless. Again, I go to that meter that has won me falls so many times. But when I look me at this time, I realized that my enemy was me. That all my problems were never stirred now. And they were in my heart. And now that I remember, I have always been focused on my past. Without looking, I want everything you have for me. <sighs> they say that fears haunt you and that pain hates. I only say that pain strengths and the fear drives your faith. I don't know all the answers, but I know that when the battle comes, you have to be ready. And I wasn't prepared. I have seen how God has transformed my life. Thanks to him, I didn't give up and I will never do it again. I saw that everything was very difficult, but I know it's worth to fight till the end because I was trapped in the darkness and you came to give me light. You got me and changed me. You never left me even though I was feel bad. You were always there. You took care of my step. I was so blind that you spoke to me and that I didn't say nothing. When it was my end, you just came and saved me, and I'm sure I will let you go, not again. I walk and I walk 
soon will fall to the abyss. The world tries to play with my soul, and I'm just trying to find where to go. What to do? This hollowness seems endless. This hollowness seems endless. They say that fear haunts you and that. pain strengthens and that fear drives your faith i don't know all the answers but i know that when the battle comes you have to be prepared again i go to that mirror that has watched me fall so many times but when i look this time i realize the enemy was me and that my problem The Restless Damso by Chailis Velázquez Torres
through June, she rests at noon with the possible truth that she might not see you. Long nights without rest, her mind in a cleft, scared to lose her youth, awaiting to see you. Her hair gentle as silk, her skin quite as milk. She seems weary at the couch, pleading to be around you. The sun kisses her face, death approaches her with grace. Now, with the truth that she will never see you.
And, you know, I just have to give a big shout out to Garrett because Matthew King decided to split, so he wasn't around, you know, what are you going to do? So he drafted Garrett to teach the class um, for Fidea, and, well, you just heard what that was like. So big, big hand. Give me a Garrett. Garrett. Yeah, Alana's around here, too, somewhere. I'm Tom Willits. I'm the, I used to teach here for quite a while and then decided I would just work on maps. So. Thank you all for coming. It was great. What a great show. And we'll see you again soon.